To begin, open up the Kitchen's Tutorial Drawing. Then choose the Split 2D 3D view to display 2D and 3D side by side. Adjust the 3D view so that you're looking into the kitchen from the living room and then we'll also adjust the 2D view to maximize the kitchen in the workspace. To begin placing cabinets from the floor tab, just click the cabinet tool, click the styles button from tool options, choose the double oven, drag the cursor along the wall and release when it's in position to place it. Now let's change this window. Select the window and tool options, set the width for 2 foot 6 inches and press enter. Now the height will make 3 feet and the elevation will raise up to 4 feet. And just drag that over to the right. Back to cabinets, choose the full cabinet which is a base cabinet with an upper cabinet. Just drag that into position and release it. Select the cabinet tool again and choose the base cabinet and drag that into position. We selected the tool again because that deselected the previous cabinet otherwise it would have changed the cabinet style for the selected cabinet. Now we've changed this base cabinet to 3 foot 9 inches. Again you select it and change the width. Notice it changes it from the center so just drag it over and reposition it. You can also use the arrow keys and nudge that cabinet to the left or right. Notice also when I made it wider, we need to add another door and drawer. So from the drop down, choose drawers, change the count to three and press enter. Go to base door, change the count to three and press enter. Now to fill the rest of the gap here in our cabinet run, the next thing that we'll do is add a refrigerator. Back to our cabinet tool, select the side-by-side -side cabinet, drag along the wall and position it and release to place. Last we'll put a narrow cabinet into that gap. Zoom in just a little bit. You can use the wheel on your mouse to zoom in, remember. Choose the base cabinet drag along the wall and place it. Select it, change the width. Remember it gets larger or smaller around its center. We set it to 8 inches, not quite big enough, so we'll change the width to 10 inches. Now just like before, in this case we need to go down in count in doors and in drawers. So we'll click the drop down, choose drawers, and now we'll change the count to one. The width will set to eight inches for the drawer. And now we'll go to the base door and we'll make that one and make the width of the door eight inches as well. The cabinets along the wall are complete. We'll zoom out just a little bit. We still need a range top in the kitchen and we also still need a sink. So we'll go to plumbing, click sink and from the drop down choose kitchen sink. Choose the sink that you'd like. Select it, drag it along the wall and release it over the base cabinet by the window. Automatically cuts into the countertop for you. And last, we need a kitchen island with a range top. Back to the floor tab, just choose the base cabinet and drop it in the middle of the room and it automatically becomes an island cabinet. Select the island, we'll drag it to reposition it, and while it's selected, click the Styles button and choose the Range Top Style. Now we'll go to Full 3D so that you can see the complete kitchen layout. And for a better view, we can do a final render.